Alright, what's up gamers? Welcome back to Neptunia, featuring the Funny Bunny. Yes, I know, crazy. Anyways, I have something special for you guys today. And, and no, it's not um, Leanbox spinning in Mode 7 graphics. That's, that's not it. <laughs> that's not it at all, actually. Also, I'm gonna- I need to close Winrar. <laughs> and a bunch of other things, actually. You know, now that I think about Shot Cut, I might also use energy if I, you know, let it live too long. Here, I'll- I'll, I'll do the minimizing tactic that I always do. Where I just press Windows and the M key. Pro tip for you guys, if you want to minimize everything, press Windows key and M, and it minimizes everything. Don't know if it works on Windows 11, but I can confirm it works on Windows 10. Anyways. I have something special to show off. I got some DLC. <laughs> it turns out that the DLC I had was not all of the DLC. So, I found more DLC. Including a witch hat for Iffy, a waitress head hat for Kampa, and also a Gust battle ticket, and Nisa battle ticket, which officially means we have weapons, and we just have these characters unlocked now. Which means, for the first time in the series, we finally have more than three characters. So, yeah, fucking finally. <laughs> And I'm also gonna probably just buy a youth bandage for Gust and Nisa, cause, yeah, pretty simple stuff. Yeah, so, let's, let's actually have a look at them. So, Gust, and we're gonna give him the, or give her the Alchemic Staff, and we're gonna give her the, um, I'm gonna give her the youth bandage. Yeah, now we have to grind the shit out of these characters, because... Yeah, chances are I'm probably not going to be using them in battle until they actually get to a decent level. <laughs> but we also have Nisa here. She looks pretty cool. We're going to give her a gun. And we're going to give her the youth bandage. I don't have any equipment for them. Where's the lesbian? Here's the problem. I want to go get the lesbian, but Neptune's on our party right now. It, kind of, it was kind of at a really bad part of the story, but... If we go to Explore, there's the Moonlight Show. <laughs> IF is awakened by an unexpected ambush. She heads into a nearby forest led by a mysterious song. What a waste are there. I'm basically stuck with three... Uh, I'm, I'm stuck with four characters. Uh. Actually, hang on a second. Can I, um... Can I reset the game real quick? Um, there's something I need to do. I forgot. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. Now, I'm gonna save real quick. And I'm not mistaken, if I set the, um, if I set the voice to Japanese, it'll actually play, uh, voices in this cutscene. Could be wrong, but I'm gonna try it. Wow, I was right. ね。お、お、なんかにいいのが。何これ足ねっぷこ。ねっぷ。最悪の目覚ましだったわね。5時半。まだ日が昇ったばっかりか。<laughs> Japanese dub usually better. Uh, nah, I prefer the the English dub, but this cutscene doesn't have an English dub, so I'm picking Japanese. かといってね、直すには中途半端だし。でも、世も上げきってないし。ねえ、ブー。We get a chance to hear Japanese iffy. <laughs> Oh, 
何この音何声こんな朝早くから一体誰がもしかして 5PB ちゃん ?5PB ちゃん<笑>場所を選ばず世界各地で活動するフリーのシンガーソングライター最近はラジオパーソナリティも始めて注目度ナンバーワンの新進気鋭アーティストなんてね年も近いし女の子でソロ活動だしなんか親近感湧いちゃって陰ながら応援してたりするのでした。Oh, if he's a, if he's a fan, if he's a fan of 5PB, that's great. Why Nepu gone? Uh, cause she got poisoned. And, and I love how, at this point in the story, I love how Ify is just like, oh yeah, the Death 2 is poisoned, but I'm gonna go stalk 5PB at 5:30 in the morning. でもこんな暗い時間に秘密の特訓？ There she is. Ha definitely not Hatsune Miku. Kirena <laughs> Koe. Talk to you, Kiki Koe Naikido. Mosko Chikakuni. Mojata. If he's a very big fan. <laughs> Apparently. If you sure you're not gonna get caught? <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Oh, 81 times, guys. Busted, if he. I don't want to get out of here. I don't want to get out of here. I don't want to get out of here. Well, if he's perverted. The Japanese dub sure is, or I guess subbed, sure is something, huh? Alright, wrong person? <laughs> I have heads to the forest again while everyone's sleeping. Will she find the girl once more? So we're doing the we're doing the five PB subplot. That don't start play eighty one times. So just gonna listen to that for a bit. Utano <laughs> renshu, sonna kanji o ne. Sokka. 大陸中を回ってるんだし、こんな場所じゃないと練習できないわよね。今度は普通に普通に驚かさないようさりげなく。You're asking a question? Oh. <laughs> Oh, she's still scared. <laughs> oh, all right. Make that make that eighty two times. I don't know. I don't know how many times. <laughs> Is it? A, I'm guessing yes. Stop! Onegai da kara sawaganai de. Player no gokinjo ni mo meiwaku da kara. Look at the background going ape shit.
if you guys don't know 5PB, uh, she, she's not very good with um, her social skills. <laughs> でも、まあ、こんな時間帯だしね。でも、そこまで行くことないんじゃない来ないでください。驚かせたのは謝るわ。でもあなたのこと知ってるのよくいろんなとこでライブやってたりするでしょ僕。also maybe is it just me or did like the sprite animation get a whole lot better for these cutscenes cuz if he's do he's like you know tilting her head and like the the sprites are very expressive <laughs> 5 pp is the miku ripoff who is introverted yes exactly but I'm only calling her- I only call her Miku Ripoff because she's got blue hair and sings. Other than that, she's not really anything like Miku. I mean, I wasn't expecting to do 5PB first. I was gonna do, you know, Red first because she's the funny lesbian lady and I like her, but I like 5PB too, so I don't mind. It's really weird because like they um these for these characters Walmart Miku yeah you know what that that works these cutscenes do not have English dub at all they these characters were these character cutscenes were released way after the game came out like I think maybe a couple months or something like that. So they were just like done with like the localization already, and they, they were like, "Nah, we're not gonna hire two new, you know, actresses to you know voice 5 PV in red." So they just said, "Fuck it, leave them silent." So we're gonna. Do That's why we're doing the Japanese um, version for these cutscenes because, yeah, I don't want to just have them awkwardly silent. It's weird. <laughs> <laughs> あなたの話も聞かせてもらえないえっと人違いですあ、make that uh 73 times. I don't think it's 80. I'm going to say 73 though. え、ちょっと。ああ、また行っちゃった。<laughs> Surprise! My fuck is 83. Fuck! I don't know what I don't know. I'm losing track, bro. I probably missed. I probably forgot to count sometimes. So let's say let, let's just say 83 and stick with that. So yeah, I don't know if we're actually gonna make any game progress today. We're gonna watch these 5 PB cutscenes though because. I could have had these done a lot earlier. Oh yeah, that's right. So, 5PB and Red, they go between the nations. So you have to do a lot of hopping around to actually finish up their fucking quests. Which is really annoying. So, yeah, I'm gonna switch it back to English for now then. But we will um, see more of her, and we will eventually meet Red. And I will do that too. Anyways, let's actually, uh, let's go see the antidote. Nap Nap is still unconscious. Her pulse is stable, but she really does need an antidote. Yeah, too bad my 500 detoxins won't do anything. About that poison. It's ancient. 
I had to look through records a century old to identify it. Who knows where that archbishop found it? It was a lot of work to find an antidote recipe for it. I mean, you could just ask Gust for an antidote. At least it wasn't Planetune's bioweapon. If we can get the ingredients, I'll synthesize the antidote. No alchemy, please. We just get the ingredients, let Kampa prepare the antidote, and everything will be rosy. I bet- I, I imagine maybe for some it might be a little jarring to go straight from the Japanese voices to the English voices. <laughs> How the fuck did Nep get poisoned? Um, someone put poison in her food, and she got badly ill from that. That was at the very end of the last episode. It's not that simple. Shops won't carry what's necessary to combat such an ancient poison. We must gather the ingredients. So someone has a grudge against Nep and they tried to poison her, and they did. <laughs> so we have to get her cured. I see no alternative. Kampa, can you stay here and keep an eye on Nep? Yeah, you were right. She got no! food poisoning. Do you even know what you're looking for? But quite literally, quite literally food poisoning. I'll be fine. I have my methods. I'll call if I have any questions. Why don't you go together? I'll watch over Neptune. I've informed Sir Turqua to reschedule the meeting already. <laughs> Will you trust me? I love how he, uh, I love how they say the names weird. Like, they don't say Jade and Turquoise, they say Jod and Turqua. <laughs> I didn't even watch it and I got it right. Good job. Fine. We'll be back as soon as possible. Please take care of Nep Nep until then. Are we going to a dungeon together, or is this just going to be scripted? Mm. Motto Forest. Alright guys, here's the question of the day. Who do you want to see? Who would you rather see? Um, Gust or Nisa? Who would you rather see in combat first? Yeah, he's French. I, I have to pick one or the other, so who am I picking? I mean, they're probably gonna die anyways, but we gotta level them up somehow. Nisa, so she can die instantly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Speaking of which, I probably need to, you know, change up her combo skills. Even though she doesn't have any yet. Or I could have her switch. Combo link. Okay, let's do the same for Gust as well. Zeppi doesn't like Nisa today, apparently. Alright, we're going to explore uh, the Motto Forest. Also, okay, Nisa also has the Monster Call ability. Uh, here, here, here she is, by the way. She has a funny little penguin backpack, which is a reference to, um... It's a reference to, what you call it, um... Disgaea, I think? Or just, um, Nipponichi in general? Actually, yeah, isn't the symbol of Nipponichi like a penguin? So that would make sense. Obtain all treasures. Oh, okay, we're going around then. This is my first time playing as Nisa, so it's kind of refreshing. <laughs> flat ass bitch. Oh, you don't like her because she's flat? Don't let your guard down, even if they look weak. That's really rude. <laughs> All right, let's find out. Can um, can Ify win this battle in one turn? Yep, looks like it. Also, I have one more question. Do back characters get experience? Let's we're on a different level. I think they do? Also, that was like no experience at all. What the hell? I mean, hey, this, if anything, this is a good dungeon for um, Gust and Nisa then, because there's like no way they could die. Here, I'll only do this then. Let's fight fair and square! It's not rude, it's the truth. Up, no matter how strong our opponents are! Let me kill this guy first. 
Thing is, is uh, Nisa is so damn like under level that she's never gonna get a chance to attack right now. <laughs> The hell are these things? Bird of Paradise. First we have the Shrine Maid of Paradise, and now we have the Bird of Paradise. Yeah, we're just gonna do the monster call and get these guys out of the way so we can focus on um grinding out the dungeon. Oh, okay. Not yet! Oh yeah, we'll be fine, because, um, we have the youth bandage on her, <laughs> so it's okay. Again, our absolute victory. I won't lose! Level 3, <laughs> Space Scufflefish. Level up! Skill, check this. Get roasted? What do you mean, get roasted? What did I do? Anyway, I'm gonna just- I just gotta scour the entire dungeon then and just get everything. Real quick, where is- oh yeah, oh. Oh, Gust has treasure search. Let's see what we find. Uh, it's over there. Okay. Good to know. So yeah, that's the thing. Gust and Nisa are just clones of um Kampa and If and Ify. So yeah. As strong as they look. And since they're just clones, um it's only really cosmetics and stuff if depending on who you use. Anyways, this guy will be pretty Did easy. You think that was it? Did you think that was it? All right, he's dead. One turn. A victory for our party. If he's my strongest party Whoa, member. I can feel the energy. Pretty triple shot EX hero drink. Level up. Gust campaign puny and gust nectar. Because of what Zebby said. Oh, I mean, so what, right? Oh, hey, here's a treasure right here. Oh, are the treasures gonna be tucked away in like stupid spots? All my good deeds are paying off. Oh, that that that'll be annoying if that's the case. Okay, we gotta, gotta go back out this way. Camera's being a little shit in this dungeon. Knowing that, knowing this game, it might be pretty easy to actually miss some treasure. <laughs> Also, there's like a middle pathway that I have to take, which might have more treasure. Wrong person. My turn to do something. Okay, we're gonna go. We're gonna go find that treasure. Look how small she is. <laughs> Thing over here. The camera likes Nisa's backpack. <laughs> the enemies are back. Oh shit. Nice item. Everyone, get ready. They're not as strong as they look. Oh yeah, right. I need to put that new I need to put the new equipment on uh Ify and Kampa. I'm gonna do that after this battle. Unless I can do that mid battle, I don't think I can. I, I don't think I can do it mid battle, can I? No, I'll do that after the battle though. All right, and we have more shrine maidens of paradise. There we go. Oh wait, there's another wave. More flowers to kill.
Pretty easy stuff, though. So where was the main monster? I'll become stronger and stronger. Antidote. Level Yeah, it's it's good. It's finally we. It's good to finally have new characters, though. <laughs> like, I'm glad about that. Okay, so for Tampa, we have a waitress hat, which also gives her 10 AP. And then for Iffy, me being based, we got a witch hat. <laughs> Cause I like witch hats. Which also, it also happens to give her res, <laughs> which is kind of nice. Well, it lowers her defense, though, but yeah, more res is always nice. And 10 more AP. <laughs> Obtain all treasure. How will I know when I found all the treasure? I guess we just have to keep searching. Somehow I missed this treasure. What the fuck? Actually, I don't think I've been here yet. Item obtained. Drop wart. So I'm gonna go down here just in case. You never know. There's there's a treasure here. Hmm. No, I don't think so. Okay, so we're gonna go up here then. Oh yeah, so guys, I, I, I talked about this on the Tomodachi livestream, but I'll talk about it again, because why not? Uh, so I watched uh, Die Hard yesterday, which is a movie I've always wanted to watch. All my good deeds are paying off. And randomly, you know, my girlfriend decided like, hey, you know, why don't we watch D Die Hard? Which I, well, for one, I didn't even know she was a fan of Die Hard. Although she said she only watched the fourth movie. <laughs> She only watched the fourth movie, which, um, yeah. So I'm like, well, how have you not seen the OG, the classic? I wonder what kind of items are here. Okay, so I need to find that fucking, um... Come out, Evo! I need to find the hidden treasure. I think I can handle this monster myself! And I have no idea where that hidden treasure is. We gotta figure out where that is. Yeah, I loved I loved Die Hard. It was great. Like the first few like 20 minutes or so were, were kind of boring or whatever because it was kind of like setting up the movie. But then after that, it was just like non-stop action for like an hour or so, which was really awesome. So, I really enjoyed um watching it. And uh I guess in the future might also watch the other Die Hard movies. But, I mean, the first is just, the first one's just like a classic. A complete victory. So, if I had to guess, like, let me, let me look, let me do the treasure search again. My turn to do something? It says the treasure is over that way. Oh, you know what? I think I know where it is. I have an idea. <laughs> also, I don't know if it's just me, but does Gust feel faster than the other characters? Or is it just the camera being... making it seem that way? I mean, if it turns out she is faster, that would be great. Let's see what we find. Aha! Um, this one might this one might actually be required. This one's yep. rare. Taco Bay. <laughs> Found all of them. Gathering complete. I'm glad just the right number were kept in a single dungeon. <laughs> wow! How convenient. Yes. Let's return to Nep Nep. Well, we kind of got to use Gusta Nisa. Sort of. We didn't get to use them in combat because they never got a turn because Iffy did everything. Iffy being based. But yeah. I mean look at I mean just look at their stats. <laughs> like it's so so low. 
They do like barely any damage. 500, 700? Well, no, Gus uses magic, so she's. Uh, also 700. Yeah, Gus is your typical magic user, and Nisa is the physical user of the group. I mean, hey, they gained five levels in that one dungeon, so they're getting close. <laughs> Ten more experience required for level for level seven. I think that's the lowest I've ever seen it go. Okay. Is there anything new worth buying? Mm, doesn't look like it. The royal armlet still isn't that good. Snowballs? Oh, I think I know what that looks like. I don't know if they get any more weapons or not. But, yeah. By the way, apparently there's DLC to increase the level cap, which is a thing that pretty much all the Neptunia games do. But it's only for if you're trying to go for 100%, which I'm not really doing. I'm not going for, like, actual 100%, but I am trying to get as much done as I can. So now it says I've done 53% of events. I don't think the DLC events count. Also, I love how Louis has the most shares for no reason. I'm not sure why that is. It's weird. We have the bestiaries and the dungeons. Oh, here's all the dungeons. Oh, here's where you can keep track of what dungeons you've completed. Interesting. I'll have to go back. Most shares. If you look on the right, oh yeah, you guys, can you guys, can you guys not see it? Uh, hold on. In the top right. You can see, um, you can see the shares for the game, for the games. Planet 2 and Lanebox and Last Station all have, like, nothing, but then Louis has the most. And then there's Other. I don't know what Other is. But, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of funny. The Xbox 360 will be getting more attention than Wii. I mean, we'll see, we'll see about that when I actually, you know, do more of the game. Innocent Gift. Planet PR. Innocent gift. Is that, um... Should I do that cutscene in Japanese? Probably. Let me just save real quick. I mean, it also might be one of those optional ones, so... Yeah. Oh, never mind. That's not a cutscene. That's a... That's a... That's a quest. Oops. It's hard it's hard to tell. Well let me see. What about the world info? We have the golden dragon. War against creation, that's a quest. I dislike me. I have barely misses 5 PB show. Okay. And wife flag. So we got we gotta go to Planet Tune then. So, both of the next- both of the quests are on Planet Tune, then. Okay, so we'll go there after Planet- after Neptune gets healed. Comp and I have struggled without Neptune in the party. Totally, they totally do. While making the antidote, Neptune finds herself in yet another strange dream world. And... R4 is back. How? How do they know about the key fragments? I can't think of anyone but you, Istoir! You lied to my face. You were contacting the CPUs while I was gone. Admit it! <laughs> yep, oops. How many? How many of the CPUs know about the key fragments? She's not even talking. <laughs> How many exist? How much do they know about the Evangelist, the Monsters, the Overlord? Answer me! <laughs> He's not answering. Fine. You've no intention to speak? So I must silence that useless mouth. Ah, no! 
Calm down, nap nap. <laughs> nap nap, you're slurring. Mm -mm. Wait, 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 Neptune, Neptune saying slurs? Oh shit, that's not good. I was talking about real life, oh. Which console sold the most in the 7th gen? Which one's the 7th gen? Is that PS3, Xbox, and Wii? I mean 360, not Xbox. Nep, dr jump neck. <gasps> oh, yeah. Drump. Huh? Yeah. Hmm. Were you at my side this whole Pretty sure it was the Wii. Such a sweetie. I'm way touched. The Wii sold way more than the PS3 and 360. <laughs> oh, 84 Please, times. Please get off me. Nap, nap. Nap. Nap, <laughs> nap, nap is awake. Nap, nap. Yes, I heard you. What with the shouting and giggling. Morning, nap. You've slept for quite a while. What a happy reunion. Huh? No, I got all woozy and sick to my tummy. I just had a weird dream to top it off. I'm joking. You wouldn't know what we had to go through while you slept, huh? Are you hungry, Nap Nap? I'm sure you feel weak from sleeping for so long. You should have yep. a great big meal. I mean, if we're talking about the sixth generation, then the PS2 sold the most. <laughs> mm, yes, I agree. I think the best thing to do is eat for the next day or two. I mean, in terms of generations, Nintendo's been dominating recently with the Switch. They kind of fucked up in the, um... They kind of fucked up in the Wii U era. It's hard to say, because the console generations are all weird now. Because, like, the Wii U released around the same time that the PS4 and Xbox One released. But then... Like, the Switch released before the PS5 and Series X did, so I don't know. Do we consider the Switch, Series X, and PS5 part of their own console generation? So would that be, what, the ninth gen of console generation? I guess. Should we, should we, is that how we're gonna go about it? I don't know. <laughs> Neptune, that was added back to the party, yay! And teleportation's back. Oh, 85 times. You saved these beautiful young maidens from the Basilicon. Like father, like son. I'm proud of you. Who's this old fart? <laughs> Keep it down. Where are we anyway? Yeah, the PS3 almost failed because it was like 500 bucks. And then they lowered it. And then it started selling more. And then Metal Gear Solid 4 released. And then it sold even more. And yeah. This is my house. That is my adoptive father and leader of the aristocrats, Sir Turquois. I brought you here from the Basilicom's basement holding cell. I'm Jad. Nice to meet you. Oh yeah, Jad, not Jod. <laughs> Jad, why did you help us? Nep is up now, so hurry and explain yourself. So, the 360 kind of dominated the start of the, that generation. But then the PS3 kind of took over once it started getting more, like, desirable games and... Yeah, and also the, don't forget about the fact that the 360 had the whole Red Ring of Death thing going on, which also kind of pushed people away from the 360. <laughs> I don't know. The PS3 is weird. Allow me. I want you girls to be our sexy mascot allies. All right, bro. Bro, come on, man. No horny. What's all this hubbub? What sort of ally is that? Nap Nap doesn't know what's going on, since she's been sleeping this whole time. Could you please explain? Ten years ago, a great war waged on Leanbox. The Basilicon Schism. The Parliament's revolution. At the time, the Parliament tried to gain total control by gathering heretics in an attempt to raid the Basilicons. We, the aristocrats, defeated them under the aegis of the sanctuary. The aegis. The heretics escaped, <laughs> but the goddess gave aegis us Aegis mentioned. However, the sanctuary... The current archbishop doesn't want to admit there was any kind of revolution at all. He burned all the records and prohibited publicizing any information on it. He even tried to revoke our leader's honor. Bro, burned all the- he burned all the evidence? Crazy. So that's why you want to make us sexy mascot allies? 
to fight the silicon? <laughs> we can't do that. I thank you for helping us, but we can't possibly fight the Basilicon. I understand where Sir Turqua is coming from, but I can't let them get involved either. Those able to fight monsters are a rare find. You girls are brave, beautiful, and we've both been hurt by the Basilicon. While that's true, and I don't intend to forgive them for it, we can't fight humans no matter how evil they are. But we've beaten people up before, right? That's because they attacked first. Self-defense. We had no choice. I've already told them I didn't save them in exchange for anything. Just let it go this time, please. How about this? Why not help us in a different, less sexy mascot way? <laughs> yeah, with less, less of the sexy part. Your job would be limited to fighting monsters. What say you? All right, now you're speaking my language. So you want to be our client? If it's a job fighting monsters, then I guess we have no reason to turn you down. In that case, just keep us out of any conflicts involving the Basilicon. I give my word. Your jobs will be mere support. There will be no direct involvement whatsoever. See, now that's better. We're getting somewhere. Neptune and the Seven Herbs. <laughs> Is that a, that's a reference to something, probably. Do I hate the Wii U? No. You might hate the Wii U, but I don't. I love the Wii U. And I will defend the Wii U for the rest of my life. Because I was a proud owner of a Wii U day one when new Super Mario Bros. U came out. And I bought pretty much all the Mario games on there. So, I have nothing against it. And I still have my Wii U, actually. I don't really play on it, but I still have it. So, yeah. It's one of my oldest consoles that I own. <laughs> I didn't say I hate the Wii U. I know someone, one of my friends hates the Wii U for no reason, and I don't really understand why. So, um... Why don't we put, uh... Let's put Neptune back on the front lines, but we have Kampa... Or not Kampa. We have, uh, Gust and Nisa. We're gonna try and level them up over the next few episodes. And we'll use them in dungeons too, I guess. So, they're there. But they are too low level to be useful right now. If we can get them up to, like, the 30s or so, then maybe I'll start using them. <clears throat> you missed a few great games. It's a good thing Neptune didn't really lose any... Le well, that le was a really low-level dungeon, so we didn't really miss much. Road to Louis. You know, I don't want to go to Louis. I want to go to, um... I want to go to Planet PR Islands. Hello everyone, this is the CPU of Leanbox, Greenheart. By the way, depending on how I feel, I might stream this game twice today. But I'd have to get a- I'd have to have a lunch break in the middle of each stream. <laughs> today, I'd love to discuss the small islands surrounding Leanbox. There are some old ruins, a castle, a very old tower built with bricks, and a mining area. People once lived in the castle. But now it's occupied by monsters. Oh. Try to stay away from there during your visit. <laughs> a woog. <guy. laughs> Specialists go to the ruins and old tower to perform research every day. I wish I could help, but I'd get too hot. Plus, I was in Celestia when those were initially built. <laughs> well, you're already pretty hot, if you know what I Lastly, mean. Not just the castle, but. Wrong sound. <laughs> All of the islands I introduced today are teeming with monsters. Have you heard Curiosity Killed the Cat? Please don't go to those areas. There is nothing fun there. Except for death. That's it for the islands surrounding Leanbox. All is there is death. See you in the next update. Based. I can see why um, Aaron likes uh, Vert so much. Sleeping Statue. My personal news. Mm. Greenheart's blog updated again. Helping the aristocrat leader. Okay, we'll help the aristocrat leader later. We're gonna go to Planet Tune, because we have business there. It's gonna be a long series, because I if I remember correctly, wasn't didn't wasn't Rebirth 3 like 30 something episodes? I forgot what my longest Neptunia series is. It might be Rebirth 3 though. 
I'm gonna dull check. <laughs> uh, let me let me search Rebirth Three on my channel. Um, Rebirth Three was thirty episodes. But then again, I used to I would stream that game for like two to three hours at a time, most mostly. Vert got very massive personality. <laughs> Oh yeah, she sure did. Okay, and what about V2? How many episodes does V2 have? I think V2 has the most, actually. Yeah, V2 has 37 episodes. Holy shit. Holy shit. That's a lot of episodes. Yeah, that's definitely the longest series now for Neptunia, but who knows? I don't know how long this one will be, but you never know. Anyways, um... Let's minimize Brave so it's not eating up anything. Anyways, we're gonna go to Planet Tomb. Because, why not? Oh yeah, I forgot I still had Gust out. It's kinda funny though. Just her silly little walk. They're not as strong as they look. She kind of fast. That's what I like about her. I can't. I, I can't really test it myself, but if she is faster, Our party that would make Gust the ideal I'm partner better. for uh, dungeon exploration. I'll become stronger and stronger. Maybe one of these times I'll have to, you know, run through these dungeons and. I'll time it, you know, just see, just time it and see, like, how long does it take to get through each of the dungeons with each character. Alright, anyways, I gotta turn the, uh, Japanese voice back on. Alright, are you guys ready for a funny lesbian? <laughs> well, here we go. It's unusual for IF to accept a bounty job alone. As she realizes how helpful a party can be, she hears a scream from nearby. ふぅ。<sighs> <sighs> <laughs> wow. That was quite the scream. There she is. Then <laughs> don't get off. Also, uh, 84 times. Or 85, I don't know, I lost track. Man, if he, if he sure is just the subject of, like, hot lesbian ladies in this game, isn't she? First she fall first Vert falls for her, and then Red. <laughs><笑> Oh, 
ちゃんが身を転して、私を守ってくれたおかげだよ。あ、じゃ、these cutscenes are very well animated. It's kind of impressive, honestly. そんなつもりはなかったんだけどね。謙遜しないしない。でもその控えめな態度がますますいいよ。What the fuck? お姉ちゃん、名前はちなみに私はレッドちゃん。R.E.D. で、レッドね。I.E.D. 私は I.F. お姉ちゃんって、なんかこそばゆいわ。ちゃん。間違ってないけど、でも。でもって、嫁だって言って、十分間邪魔されなかったら、結婚なんだよね。はあ、うん、ちょっと意味がわからないんだけど。あ、uh, so, so、ひそひそ。ああ、そう、うさいマウスのスクリーン。あいちゃんは。嫁になるの。いや。By the way, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna message this to Elijah. He's gonna, he's gonna love it. I'm gonna say, I met a funny lesbian. Red wants to have a wifey. <laughs> yep. Anyways, we also have、um, another event with 5 PB. I think. There it is. Despite her efforts, I have barely missed this 5 PB show. I think I read that already. Oh, 86 times! あと30秒早くダンジョンがクリアできてたら。<笑> If only Neb didn't try to eat that hamburger shaped rock. Sorry, I'm so good. 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 Eighty-eight <laughs> times. <laughs> Hamburger-shaped rock. Neptune, try to eat a rock. Mori. Eh? Uso. Ja, yappari asoko ni ita no wa five PB chan. Jitsubutsu wa zuibun ishou ga chigau no ne. Radio wa chotto. それよりもしかして聞いてたうん言いにくいけど間に合わなかったの私も生で聞きたかったわどうし
しよう。聞かれてた。知ってる人に聞かれちゃったよ。<笑> She's panicking. <laughs> That's not good. Neptune really releasing her intrusive thoughts. いや、ね。だから間に合わなくて聞けずじまいだったんだってば。逃げる。逃げないで。待って。少しお話ししましょう。歩きながらでいいからね。まあ、if he has infinite riz, <laughs> another reason to like her. I mean, it makes sense that if he's the one that hangs out with all the characters, because you know, idea factory. あ、その、いえ。言いたいことがあったら遠慮なく言って別にどっかに書き込んだりしないから<笑> oh, 88 times <笑>冗談も通じないのねでもどうしてラジオの時はあんなに堂々としてるのにその僕普段はいつもこうなの歌ってる時とかラジオの時とかそういう時は没頭できていいんだけどそれでいつも歌い終わるとあんなこそこそ引き上げるのうん人気のない森で練習してたのもそのせいうんライブで歌い終わりってファンと触れ合える絶好の機会じゃないそうじゃなくてもファンサービスって大事よ<笑>ファンサービス<笑> If he raising up people <笑> She isn't doing that to you Well, fuck そうかなあんまり考えたことないお客さんの目的は歌ったから僕じゃない By the way, if you, uh, in case you guys didn't know for whatever reason Uh, 5PB, her VA, is the one who sings the opening song to all the Neptunia games, which is really cool. So basically, the, um, it's kind of like she's doing a, you know, like a single for every Neptunia game, which means she's also, which means she's even in the Neptunia games that don't feature her, I think. I mean, at least for the first few, two or three Neptunia games, I know it's voiced by her, AK now. ダメよそんなのいいわ私が何とかしてあげるいいいいよくないわラジオでやっと注目され始めたのにそんなんじゃ遅かれ早かれ埋もれちゃうわよ、oh, if he really cares about her. そそれはうん。別に悪いようにはしないからねあ、oh, he's testing sure are great though it's also nice to hear the Japanese voices for a change I love that they include that I love any game that just allows you to switch between the languages whenever you want such a great feature <laughs> Holy shit! We got um, we got some gold Mary. That's pretty good. I like that. Anyways, you guys ready for more Funi cutscenes? I mean, I don't know. I don't really have any Funi cutscene ideas. By the way, while I was in the bathroom, uh. <laughs> I was thinking about what if I had like a custom screen transition? Because I know some people do that. I heard a blue hedgehog's blur past the party. What does it mean? Oh, 88 times. Whoa! Nap, nap, what now? Don't start on me like that, please. Did something just whoosh by our footsies? Something like what? I don't know, it was all fast and stuff. What are you talking about? You're imagining things. No, it was super small, but I totally saw it. I wonder what it was. 
You're delusion. Ugh. Oh, yeah, yeah, I just saw one. Ah, uh, more are coming, one after another. What are they? Blue rats? No, this is a herd of super speedy blue hedgehogs. And they're gone. I don't see any of them left. Not a single one. Where? Wait, where'd they all come from? I think they all ran out of that major game developer building. Where'd they go? Hmm, looks like a building used by Pachinko Slot Machine Maker. Oh, right, not Pachinko machines. I heard of hedgehogs migrating from a game company to a slot maker. What's happening between these two places? Great, great cutscene. Oh, 89 times! Pied Paper, Piper of Hamelin! That's way too clever of a punchline for you. Hmm. <laughs> I'm actually gonna have to explain what reference that is. The blue hedgehogs. But yeah, so I was thinking, like, what if I have, like, a custom screen transition? Because all I have so far is, like, the swiping thing. Um, like, if you guys want an example, you know, that. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Okay, it only works sometimes for some reason. If I do it too fast, it doesn't work. But you see what I mean, right, guys? That's what I mean. I saw I was thinking, what if I have, like, a custom transition? <laughs> and... You know, I haven't messed around with it quite yet. But, I kind of want to. Oh, oops, I did not mean to do that. Oh no, I'm, I'm messing it up. I'm messing up my sources, shit. Okay, there we go, hold on. <laughs> I got this. I know there is a way to open scene filters. Is that it? Hmm... No, that doesn't seem to be it. Transition override. Why does this one do the fade? Oh, that's why. But if you do it, if you do it too fast. It doesn't actually work correctly. <laughs> it's kind of weird. I'm messing. I'm just messing around with this right now. But yeah, you, you get the you get the idea. But there is a way to do a custom. I'm pretty sure. Although that maybe that's only a Streamlabs thing. I don't know. I could have sworn there was a way to do that though. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's just a, um... I think it's just a Streamlabs thing. That's kind of weird. I might look it up for a... I might re look it up real quick. Uh, custom Screen Transitions OBS. How to add a custom transition to OBS. I don't really care for Filmora, but right now I'm kind of looking. <laughs> Um, yeah, Stingers. Stingers is a special type of customized animated video transition. Yeah. Go to tran Scene Transitions. Scene Transitions? Where's that at? Hmm. I'm not sure I should be messing around with this right now, but yeah. So where is where is that then? It's not in filters. Hmm. I can have a full screen. Oh yeah, scene transitions. Um properties? Oh, you can also- I can also change which way it slides? That's pretty cool. I can add one. Add a stinger. There we go. 
And then I can have a video file. Mmm. You know what? Okay, I like this actually, hang on. I think I might have actually figured this out. Alright, um... Transition point? Can I edit the stinger? Is there a way I can apply effects to it? Hmm. We're gonna turn off the uh, transition override. Oh yeah, see? I, I, there it is! Did you see it? You saw it, guys? But I'm trying to edit out the blue screen. <laughs> So how do I how do I edit that? Audio and there's also no auto audio. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. So that's gonna be the problem is trying to figure out how to add a blue screen effect to that. That is something I don't know about. Filters. Transition point. Preload video to RAM. Oh yeah, maybe I'll do that. Hmm. It doesn't. There doesn't seem to be a to, to be a way to add effects onto the stinger. I could be wrong though. <laughs> you can fade the color as well. Also, what's a Luma? What's a Luma wipe? Hmm. Never heard. Never seen. Never heard of that. Well, I have a stinger. I have a stinger wipe now. Whatever that is. Um. Let me try something. Can I add a filter on top of this? And can I chroma key that? No, not color correction, goddammit. I'm pretty sure it's color key, right? Blue. Um, let's see. No, it doesn't- it doesn't edit out the blue. That, I'll have to figure out. But we ha we're, we're- the stinger- the stinger is in process. <laughs> Wanna see it again? There. <laughs> so so that's supposed to be the Super Mario RPG battle transition. And I decided, yeah, I'm gonna have that as my transition. <laughs> but I can't figure out how to blue screen it. I might have to figure that out. It's pretty it's pretty good though. If I could turn into a GIF. Maybe that would work. Also, is there audio? Is there audio for it or not? I, there might be. Audio monitoring. There you go. I hear it now. <laughs> That's pretty cool. It's just too bad it, the blue. It, it doesn't work properly. It's blue screened. <laughs> it's blue screened out. So, yeah. And also, um... What is the... Ch I can change the transition point? Hmm. It's not, it's not bad, honestly. Uh, fade to out to tra cross fade. Um... I don't think that works, does it? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I think it ended too early. <laughs> uh, how many milliseconds should I make it? 1200? It not ends too early, that's the problem. 
I'm gonna keep increasing the time, though. Let's try 4,000 milliseconds. I don't know. That's enough of that. <laughs> I'll, I'll fuck around with that later. And maybe there's a way I can actually blue screen it. Anyways, enough of that. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed my little sidetrack. My little sidetrack on um, trying to figure out stinger transitions on OBS. <laughs> Honestly, I have no idea if it's possible to make an MP4 that has transparency in it. I've never heard of that before, but that would be pretty cool if I can do that, which is what I'm going to try and figure out when I'm done with this. Because as far as I know, if you just try to make an MP4 with a transparent background, it just makes the background black, which, uh, you know, that's obviously not good. <laughs> we don't want that. So I'll have to figure that out when I'm done this stream. So maybe I will just do one stream, and then I'll fuck around with my OBS later. Anyways, there's actually nothing left for us to do here besides Golden Dragon. But I don't know if I'm even the right level to do that. It says, I'm th it says I need to be 35 for that, though. Lost employee. I could try this dungeon. I'm still playing as I'm still playing as Gust. I don't know. That's funny. I'm gonna I'm gonna play. I'm gonna keep playing as her. It's funny because of how small she is and how fast she runs. My turn to do something. Mm, treasure is over that way. Okay. Real quick, we're gonna we're gonna call some monsters. Come out, Evo. Can we make an exception this time? We're gonna find out if these enemies are too strong for me. <laughs> oh my That's god! So quick, so it doesn't scar. I will take that as a yes. These guys are very strong. This is a there's a bonus. Bonus, bonus. Think that I mean, Neptune might be able to take these guys out. No, these are like bosses. That's how strong these guys are. Y'all gonna show me how to add to add in fates. That too. I have a lot to do this morning, unfortunately. Alright, well. Nope, not doing that dungeon. Even though... It says it's like level 36. Ah, uh, yeah, that's a little too strong. I don't even know what level that is. It's supposed to be called the Golden Dragon, right? What's the one that has the Golden Dragon in it? Beat the bosses. Ultimate Fiber. Oh yeah, that's right. I was going to do this one. I think I'm high enough level to do this one. Alright, let me, uh, let me call out my, uh, let me call the monsters. Mind over matter. We got this. These guys aren't too bad now. I never let... Did you think that... Neptune break. Alright, defend. Do your damage. Oh boy. <laughs> Here's your tri I think I can keep going. Yeah, I was trying to download a uh, Fire Emblem Fates today, this is a bonus. but 
seems to kind of be a bitch to get running, so I'm gonna see if I can figure out what to do there. Ooh, there we go. I think this guy's dead. No, he barely lived. What the fuck, bro? I can't really bro live with like one health left. How did I do? That wasn't bad at all. I want to be stronger. Well, that's one way to level up, Gustinisa. Nah, this dungeon's still annoying to do. Like, yeah, I can't. I could technically get the ultimate fiber, but it's just really annoying to do. <laughs> It's just not worth it. I'll do a few encounters in here, though. You get some level ups for Gust and Nisa, at least. Um, are we in danger? Wait, do these guys give ultimate fiber? I forget which enemies even give it. I never let my prey go. All right, getting better. All right, good timing. Mm. Oh, by Compa. <laughs> yeah, this 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 dungeon's bad news. Still a little too strong for me for some reason. I never let my prey go. Oh, bro, I'm still not gonna be able to kill this guy. This oh boy. Yeah, not not doing that. Compa's dead, which means this dungeon's still too on, dungeon's still too strong for me. This is a deal. I'll become stronger and stronger. And gunplay. I love how comp or I keep saying compa said gust. I like how gusts moves are just like random phrases. <laughs> yeah, not doing that dungeon. Fuck that. Are there any other dungeons that are worth doing here? The golden dragon. Let's try golden dragon. If not, we have a save. And guess what, guys? We still gotta we still gotta find the fragments. Yeah, this gives me an idea. Um, maybe I can time it. Is, there's a way I could time this, right? <laughs> Oh, yeah, did, have I been here before, actually? No, I have not. These enemies... Think that was it? These enemies are really weak, so I can do this dungeon. All right. All right. <laughs> Ball, right? A victory for our party. Let Whoa, I can feel the end. Whoa. Well, let's fight the optional enemy first. Get some free Let's EXP. Fair and square. Sneak attack. Be careful, everyone. <laughs> Reminds me of when Compa's like sneaky, sneaky. Okay, yeah, this guy is a bit stronger. This is the guy that gives like fifty thousand experience. Did you think that was it? Oh, so I'm gonna see if I can fix up Neptune's skills. Do I still not have, um, CPU Neptune? I don't know what the fuck happened to that move. It's weird. It's just, it's just gone for no reason. It was, a uh, circle, triangle, triangle, triangle. That's for cool Nep. Yeah. I think I can afford to turn one of these into dual edge. Let's try- give it a try. Yeah, 
Yeah. And then I can still defend. Well, in that case, I could probably, um... I could probably turn into, um, dual arts. Which is better. And more. More and more. All right, I'm gonna end my combo. <laughs> I never let my. I never let. I never let. I can do dual arts, and then do Neptune break, and then I still have enough to defend after. Which is basically the ideal way to fight. I'll treat you nep. <laughs> I'll treat you nep nep. I fucking did it again. I did X and then triangle. I think I can keep going. <laughs> I mean, I'm glad. I am glad that we have more AP to mess around it. with. Fantastic. Oh yeah, that does do a bunch of damage. Alright, skip your turn. Oh boy. This shit. This shit. More and more. Plus I love hearing this music all the time. It's good. Cleone enemies. Someone apparently did a long play of this game, <laughs> except they cut out all of the boring, all the boring fights. This is a bonus. So they ba so basically they cut out all the fights, like all the Cleon fights and all that shit, because that's not just not exciting to watch. And I hear it, I hear you. It's it's not because these fights go on for like forever. So yeah. I think he's dead. There you go. This shit, Nep says. Got everyone from the underworld. 150,000. I'm getting stronger and stronger. Wow, even Compline Ify got a level up there. Revive Kit S. Ooh. I'll keep getting stronger. I'm stronger. Nice. Oh wow, she she went from level 12 to level 21. Special combo, my favorite fairy. Gus special coffee. Gus special milk tea. Special heal all, heal all mini. I'll become stronger and stronger. Look at all these different moves I'm getting. Great. Okay. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna see just. Okay. So let me time this. So, how long does it take me to get over here? It takes about six seconds. And how about with gust? It takes about the same time. It's just it's just Gus feels faster. <laughs> I don't know. Does that make any sense? Let's not waste our time here too much. I mean, if it feels faster, then that's definitely good, right? That's still a good thing, if you ask me. I never let. Good combo. <laughs> Again, our absolute victory. Marshall Level W. Up. I'm stronger. Level up. Surprised we haven't. I I swear I had a move called CPU Neptune and I just lost it. I don't know where it, it's at. She's very energetic. <laughs> We're gonna need to go over that way. We know what's in like the second half of the dungeon. Let's go. 
See, unfortunately, I'm not going to be using the party members that I got for a while. Because I need them to be, like, at least 30s. I never let my and until go. they're around that, um, I won't be using them for a while. So there, you probably won't see them this episode. Let's keep the peace in game industry. Also, I don't know why, but Marissa was, like, laying down, <laughs> weirdly. So, I'm going to put her over here and next to Kirby. More reflexes is always nice. This shit. <laughs> I found treasure. Funny fast, funny fast potion lady. <laughs> The Death Hornet. This is a bonus. Let's keep the peace in game industry. So what level are they right now? Wrong thing. Every time it has triangle. They're low twenties now. Wow, that was fast. We sure grinded them up pretty easily, didn't we? I say by the end of the episode, they'll probably be around level 30. Maybe. If we're lucky. Nice item. Let's see what we find. Okay, so the treasure is more over that way. Well, and I definitely want to use these characters as much as possible because I just. <laughs> feel bad because you know they're not in any of the modern games they're only in the first two games and then they never showed up ever again because of you know the legal legal reasons and because of that they're very special characters to me a complete victory. i mean then again you can say the same thing about some of the other characters you know kind of like how sega me she's only in sega hard girl so all the sega hard girls are kind of special too but that's that's from a more modern game and Neptunia, uh, you know, Super Dimension Neptune. It's just Let's kind of a weird game. Here too much. It's a weird game because it's as close to mainline Neptunia as it gets, which is to why to me it's kind of like Neptunia Five in a way, hmm. or like a weird. I'm slicing junk. Actually, I don't remember. I think that was a four Neptunia V two. So, in a way, I think it's more like Neptunia 3.5. <laughs> that doesn't really make sense. Because I don't think... Well, no, no, it came out after, um... It came out after Uzume, so it, it kind of is Neptunia 4. kind of is Neptunia 5. At least to me. Let's see what we find. Okay, we're getting really close to the treasure. I think I have an idea where it is. I sent a Funi gif. Ooh, I like. I want to see Funi gifs. That's not a gif. <laughs> well, anyways, here. <laughs> if he catches you in 4K. Oh, funny Funi pick. That's Ify with her, you know, nine cell phones. <laughs> Typical Ify. Yeah, gotta, gotta love Iffy, though. Iffy's always been... Well, I wanna say always, but Iffy's been become my favorite in the past two or three years. I forgot why exactly I started liking Iffy. I don't remember what it is. It definitely had to have been around Rebirth 3, though. I don't think she was my favorite in Rebirth 2, although I could be wrong about that. She definitely wasn't my favorite in Rebirth 1. <laughs> That's for sure. Rebirth 1, I didn't even care about Iffy, yeah, like, at all. Uh, uh, what? Oh. It's right here. They're not as strong as they look. Because, I remember when I played Rebirth 1, I thought Iffy sucked. <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'd have to replay Rebirth 1 to figure that out. I, like, super strong? Although, to be honest, I don't know if I want to replay Rebirth 1, because Rebirth 1... Feels really rough now. 
and also just because it's really Let's weird. What we find. Because it retcons so much about this game that I don't really like that. This will sell really good. Giant Nothing. safety pin. <laughs> See, she's funny. Gust is funny, and Nisa's is badass. What more could I ask for? I can take care of this alone. And then, and then we have what you know, whatever other characters we have. You know, we have, um, you know, Red and you know, Five PB. Wait a minute! I just noticed. Why is Neptune? Why does Neptune have the sword? The normal sword equipped. Do I need to f I need to fix that, don't I? Did you get characters faster in that game? True. Yeah, what the fuck? Why Neptune is wearing the default the default weapons? No wonder she's not doing any damage. Jesus Christ! Suspicious. Put the put the suspicious bangle back on her. I was wondering what was wrong with my Neptune. Oh wow! <laughs> Cat ears. I gave her the hibiscus. Could <laughs> put her in a swimsuit. I didn't realize it de-equipped everything. I wonder. I, I, now it makes sense why she wasn't doing anything. I swear there was a way to give her CPU Neptune, but I don't remember how. Was it one of the swords? I don't think it's that. <laughs> Goombario. <laughs> oh yeah, you know what that means, guys? Now I need to, um... Now I need to put new PNGs in the game, so I have more summons. Well, the Mech Sword Armaz is the best, obviously. Now Neptune's gonna kick ass. I can't believe I was using the weak-ass sword this whole time. I didn't even notice. Ow, how the hell did I not notice that? as strong as they look. That is one thing I can compliment Rebirth 1 is you get fast you get characters faster. <laughs> you get noir really early on. Remember me as a win um, on game industry's battle. Technically technically Rebirth 1 still suffers from a problem this game has where it just has well, actually all the Neptunias suffer from this problem. They just have an abundant amount of DLC <laughs> instead of having it all unlockable. Rebirth 1 has, um, it has this, like, the sisters as downloadable content. Um, it also has, um, Plutia and Pishi, which I never got, to, I never used them in that game. Coming from above. <laughs> Watch out! Give Nep the RTX 4080. <laughs> sure. Alright, Shining Dragon. This guy should be pretty easy, though. Alright, get... Did you think that was it? Alright, now we're gonna do some damage. There we go, that's much better. That feels much more accurate. Mimi. Oh, come on, don't bully Compo. Seriously? There. Also, Compo has, um, Revive Kid S. How much does that cost? Holy shit! Holy shit! Why does that cost so much? Wait, that's upon switching. Interesting. So you switch Compa in, and she revives everybody. This seems extremely situational, doesn't it? <laughs> it also costs a lot of items. That's uh, basically, you know, five percent of all maximum reflexes you can even have. I am glad we have more AP though to mess around with, which means our turns last a little longer. I can do that. Did you think that was it? I never let my prey go. All right, we defend. Get you guys get your turn. 
<laughs> it's so it's funny how just how fast his health falls from that. All right, he's dead. The game hates combo. A hundred thousand. Musical words and Judy. And rumbling thunder. I can't wait to find what all, what all these skills do. Seriously? I still got an S for that? Bro, I took like a long- I, I fucked around in that dungeon. How'd I still get S rank? Come on, game. What is this nonsense? I should've at least got an A rank. Mmm. I guess we're gonna go back to lean box. Well, actually, no. Hang on. Neptune and her party enter a lean box forest to resume a job. Oh, well, yeah, so we are supposed to go to lean box. Wait, where are, um, Morgan's creation? Where is. Lyrica, known as 5PB on stage, is naturally shy and reserved. I have offers to help her overcome her anxiety. Oh, oops. I forgot to do it in Japanese. Well, uh, too late now. Because <laughs> I forgot to save. See how much more awkward this is? <laughs> now that, since there's no voices. Just pure silence. It's so weird, isn't it? You know what? I, I, I'll do this. I'll do it. I'll do it this way just to prove my point. <laughs> you know, look, how, look how sad Iffy is. She's like tilting her head. Yeah, it's extremely awkward. There's a personality switch in my head. Yeah, th th this cutscene basically goes over how, um, 5PB, she, um, you know, she, she prefers her on-stage personality. It's a silent film. And also 89 times. <laughs> Imagine your audience in their underwear next time. <laughs> what? Yeah, I don't know if that would work. I need to be really fucking careful from now on and like, you know, make sure I actually switch to the Japanese voices. Anyways, let's actually go to lean box. Let's go back. We gotta go back to lean box at some point anyway. Ooh. All right, here here comes Gus. She's running. She's running. Imagine you're just in a cave and you just see you know this small lady running at you. Probably scare anybody. Easy. Let's get him in a single turn. Oh yeah, now, now Neptune's kicking ass. She's got her lightsaber back. Am I, like, super strong? <laughs> Silent. <laughs> Reminds me of Silent Hill. Oh yeah, you guys ever, you guys ever had flatbread before? I think I've talked about how I started buying flatbread recently. Play the Nepu sound. All right, all right, I hear you. Holy shit! That's not it. <laughs> Holy shit! Whoa! Well, check this fucking sword out—the Demon Blade Rain. 
A cursed sword glistening with red mist. Yo, I'm buying that. That is a sick ass sword sound. Uh, no new weapons. Do any of you get new weapons? Oh! Gust gets the Breezy Staff. And you get the Magic Pretty Gun. Okay, okay. That's pretty good. Any new armor? Um... The Vintage Bracelet. Oh, that's, that's actually really good. Hold on, I'm gonna buy five of those. Actually, no. Just three for now. Well, is it better on Kampa? Wow, we have new armor now. Dude, sick. You know what? Let me buy let me just buy five anyway. Doesn't matter. We got better we got better equipment now. Let's look at that new weapon. That doesn't look nearly as cool as I thought it would, but it kinda looks like it kinda looks like a Masamune or something. That's pretty dope. Alright, buy buy suspicious bangle, a low vintage bracelet. We could finally we can finally we can finally say goodbye to the youth bandage after all this time. It served us well. Like that is a seriously good upgrade. Alright, and Gust will get the breezy staff. Kinda looks like a broom. Give her the vintage bracelet. And the magic pretty gun. I can't even- I don't even see it on her. Like, does any of the thing about her change? She actually has to pull out the gun, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. But that is a pretty- that is also a pretty good upgrade. No, no, no equipment, either. It's called Lovely Alchemy. That's a great name for an outfit. Nepu is celery now. <laughs> yep. Although I'm pretty sure a Masamune is just, you know, a sword name. Like a generic sword name. But they just gave it to... They just called Sephiroth Sword that. I forget what Masamune means, though. Anyways, the Great March. Wait, hang on. Hold up. Hold up. <laughs> Before I forget... Switch to Japanese. We're gonna be doing that until all the events are over. IF pays a sudden visit to Lyrica and takes her on a mysterious outing. Oh, that's in Last Station. Oh. Okay, what about the Great March? Neptune and her party enter a lean box force to resume a job. Is this also voiced? <sighs>追いかけてる間にネプコたちとずいぶんと離れちゃったわ。ああ、<笑><笑> Oh yeah. By the way, Ify in Japanese is Aichan. <laughs> that's her that's basically her her Japanese equivalent to Ify. <laughs> My eyes no quality women. <laughs> that is so me. <laughs> oh, this dialogue's funny. If only it was actually dubbed over. Makes me wonder, does she actually have, um, an English battle voice? Or is it... or no, I don't know. They might not have done that until Rebirth 2. Holy shit. The sauce is real today, guys. Check this shit out. We have, uh, some snuggle time. And iffy. More iffy. Based. Where are you finding this sauce? <laughs> is it on Danboru again? 
もしかしたらまだ近くにいるかもしれないわね。If that's the case, I need to make an account. こんなとこいないで、町に戻ろうか。まだ来たばっかりだよ。Well, the quality woman is. 今日は愛ちゃんのために来たんだから。I came today. No context. 愛する嫁のために、この私が命を張って、たくさん連れてきたよ。な、何をモンスター。Yeah, that was definitely a monster. No, it is she. Kuretak and a monster, what's with the Kuruno? The Kiko Tai Henda Tondo. Demo, some guy about the Kana. Yaktai Jo Irukamone. That stunned O face of yours. Tai Hey, so Naga, I didn't dig it like an eye, and I. Nigger, you. <laughs> Where's your quality woman? ごめん。でも、愛ちゃんが喜ぶと思って。ちょっとやりすぎちゃった。What <笑> a <笑>本当に。<笑> Charisma plus 10. Just go to any of the blogs. Oh, blonde. You want to see blonde? I don't know. 10 could be either a lot or a little, depending on what game this is. Um, My personal news. Oh, we're going to get to hear Japanese vert. How about that? <laughs>初めて雑誌の検証に当たりましたの。百名様プレゼントの図書カードなんですけど、私にとっては一生の宝物ですわ。マイロックアム。ノイス。グリーンハートブログ。やっ、there you go. But her visit is interrupted. So we gotta go to Last Station and Louis to continue those quests now. That's gonna be annoying. So for now, we'll um we'll do an extra quest in a uh, lean box. Helping the aristocrat leader. The crew ends up agreeing to help the aristocrats regarding monster bounty quests. The aristocrat leader gathers them up for a meeting. Oh, 92 times! This is a very old trading route. It's been rife with monsters ever since a new route was constructed. Also, I love how um, my stance on Japanese dialogue has greatly improved over the past four years. Because I remember when I when I first played Rebirth 1, I refused to just play the game in Japanese. But now in this game, I'm like, you know what? If there's extra dialogue that can be read in Japanese, I'll gladly take it. And I think that also applies to those, um, like those optional ones that I kept seeing. 
like the one with like the blue hedgehog and all that 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 stuff i think is also voiced in japanese so i'd have to um switch it over for that too we need as much weaponry as possible to carry on an armed revolt against the unsexy basilicon <laughs> the unsexy basilicon will you take japanese subtitles i can't read it then in order to transport them out of the basilicon's view a path like this would be perfect although i do know some games do that where the game is only voiced in english and they have to have japanese subtitles it's really weird when games do that that said i need you girls to eliminate the monster threat around here. <laughs> it'll be authentic I'm depending on you i can there's there's a couple of games i can think of that do that mario sunshine and f-zero gx those two games are only voiced in english but they have Japanese uh, subtitles in the Japanese version of the game, which is kind of funny, honestly. They just didn't bother to do a Japanese dub for some reason. I don't know why. So it's just weird. <laughs> All right. Um, disc search by the Sanctified. Motto Forest. Guess we're going there. Nutella's favorite F-Zero game. <laughs> yeah, because he rage quit. <laughs> he rage quit in it. Alright, well. Let's see. What we got here. Lucky day. Reflex 8 units. I can do this alone. Well, these guys are really weak. Cool nap. Let's keep the peace in game industry. Okay, hear me out. I have an idea. I'm gonna switch Neptune and Compa out for a little while. Well, actually, what I need to do first of all is I need to fix up your these. I need to fix up their combo skills. Gun. <laughs> well, it's just called gun. <laughs> we have uh, let's see. This is a deal. Gust campaign. Check this special combo. We'll do special combo. Um, we have fairy. Judy. This is a deal. Let's do puny. And... <laughs> musical words. My favorite. There we go. And we'll also customize uh, Nisa as well. <laughs> he did it. He made everyone in Captain Falcon rage quit. That's why everyone wants to kill him. Oh. Oh, okay. I see. Um, Space Scuffle Fist, Rumbling Thunder, Dynamic Slap, um, Prinny, makes sense. Which one costs the most? Dynamic Slash? I'll have a rewritable disc. And we'll also have, um, Prinny, there we go. We'll mess around with them in battle. And for formation, Nisa and Gust are gonna take over for a little while. And if he's gonna stay in, because I'm based. <laughs> I mean, at this rate, I'm probably never gonna switch out for a while. Let's see what we find. Just because, uh, you know, it took me until episode 13 to have these characters. So, we're gonna use them for a while. Makes sense. Oh boy, whatever. I guess I have some time. Except, uh, Iffy is still faster than all of them. Alright, let's let, let's let, let's give some time to Nisa to let her shine. So we have, um... Magical Prinny Gun. Target locked! Bullet of Justice! Time to end this! 
Look at her gun. <laughs> Time to end this. A bit underwhelming. Alright, what about um magical pretty gun? See ya. Now's my chance. Ooh. I've got it! Damn! Okay. And um I'll just let him die. I want more. We're not gonna get. We will, the thing is, we still won't get to use them much because the enemies die too fucking quickly. <laughs> so yeah. To be fair, we haven't done much in Lean Box yet, so the enemies are still pretty weak. I found treasure. That's a lot of reflexes. Let's see what we find. Mm, so the treasure is. Oh shit! I went the wrong way. Nisa got fiery eyes. Yeah, she's cool. I think we've already won. <laughs> I think we've already won. I'll get you. So where was the main monster? That was. That was. <laughs> I'm sorry. I think he was supposed to say that was easy. That was easy. Oh yeah, Zappy, you missed it last night, but I played Tomodachi Quest last night. Nice item. And um, the characters that we got, we got um, Clarkson, Walter White, Never let your guards down. Michael Jackson, and uh, I forgot who the other person was. But it was really funny. <laughs> Yeah, last night was very funny though, because of that. So where was the main monster? That was it. That was it. Oh, that's what she says. Were they doing anything? Um, everybody except for Michael Jackson was just kicking the shit out of a disco ball. <laughs> Let's see what we find. Where is this treasure? Oh, it's like right next to the monster spawner. That's weird. I've never seen that happen. Also, this this bl this bloom is like super Let's aggressive. What, what the hell? Find. Why is the treasure like right here? It's so strange. I've never seen that happen before. Oh, yay! That's ass. Why would I want that, dude? Let's fight fair and square. Justice will never lose. Oh, wow. Wow, this guy is I never let piss easy. Piss easy. Like, super piss. I never let like, the piss is so strong. <laughs> Fuck this girl. Piece of cake. Oh my gosh, he's so happy. Now I'm gonna get a level up from that. Also, I'm just now noticing, like, all the rainbow effects on the ground. That's pretty cool. Justice will never lose! <laughs> laser piss easy. Super laser piss. So where was the main monster? That was it? It's a shame that, you know, Nisa and Gus are locked behind DLC, but it is good that in Mark 2 they become actually playable in terms of the story. Also, I went the wrong way again. What the fuck? What am I doing, dude? Everyone, get ready. Let me just call some monsters real quick so I can disable I'll the encounters. This music never gets old. He man. Yeah, if he's if he's rewritable, this just kind of sucks. Cause her magic is so low. 
By the way, if I'm not mistaken, I believe, um, Idea Factory had another dungeon kind of crawling game. I don't know if it was on PS2 or if it was on PS3, but I know Idea Factory slash Compile Heart worked on something kind of similar to Neptunia before this game. And in a way, that's kind of like, in a way, it's kind of like Neptunia Zero, <laughs> if that makes sense. I just forget what the game is called. And I remember seeing footage of it and saying like, like seeing like, yo, that kind of looks like Neptunia a bit. At least, at least the PS3 version. And, uh, yeah. I don't know, I might, uh, I might check it out someday. Just like how there's also Fairy Fencer, which is another Idea Factory game. Alright, we haven't saved in a while. I think it's time we do that. We can do this! Evilness will never prevail! Knowing if you should probably be able to kill this enemy in like one turn. I never Yep. Easiest boss of all time. Easy! I won't I won't lose! Uh, I was barely even a dungeon. Searcher Qua can be demanding at times. How did you girls fare? I bet it was difficult. <laughs> Who the hell are you? <laughs> Who the hell are you? Listen to you. I know oh. we just met. Ninety-three that times. Way to talk to a lady. Do 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 do. do. <laughs> that voice, N Neptune. Wait. I need confirmation. Where are the other two? They're resting. Anyway, I heard you intend to use that pathway to transport weaponry. Hmm. Are you interested in weapons? Sounds like you're the same excitable Neptune inside. I can't say much. Wait here. What's this about weapons? Is uh, are these guys bad now or something? This is a weapon manufactured by Avenir. A major company. Oh god damn it! Not Avenir it's far again. more advanced than Leanbox's weaponry. I heard Basilicom's prohibited trade between land masses, since the standards vary greatly between them. Why are Avenir still cooking? Sure, so they say. I have a friend working at this particular company. Avenir doesn't approve of weapons for human use, but my friend helps me make things that are. You think this is acceptable? This isn't something that should be overlooked. You come across a little more intimidating in that form, huh? Well, I'm not doing this just to waste my time. It's no secret, but if you're going to interfere, I'll have my way. This is only until the Basilicom understands. <laughs> He's showing his true colors, guys. Anyways, we could go and uh, look at the Goddess's Apology. Or... We could go all the way over to Last Station and check out what 5PB is up to. <laughs> Which I think is a much better idea. By the way, we're about half done the game now, I want to say. And what is this, episode 13? <laughs> Which probably means this will be like 30 part long series or something. I don't know, actually. Oh yeah. We also have the gallery. Ooh. I still don't know what these are. But we have 5 PV now. Yeah. Whoa. Is there any way to like zoom in and out? I don't think you can. <laughs> Ow. Hmm. Yeah, as far as I know, there's no, like, way to zoom in and out. But I could be wrong. I'm pressing all the buttons. Th this just switches between them. T Surprise from behind, guys. You get, you get your 5 PB jiggle action. And, uh, funny, funny red. 
Uh, there's a lot more to this uh, scene than you'd think. The funny dragon lady. And then whatever the hell these are, there's a lot of shit here. And also, if I had to guess, these three are for the goddesses that we aren't gonna unlock. But there's a surprising amount of gallery that this game. Yeah. Good stuff. Holy shit, Jiggle. <laughs> Alright, anyways, we're going to last station for the first time in a while. Because, uh, we got business there. We haven't been there in a long time. I'm switching to small Gus, because he's, he's faster. <laughs> Plus, I love, I love, I love her silly little run. Because apparently 5 PB is all the way in last station. Oh, I still had the Japanese voices on. Oh, that's fine. Fine. Oh, look, I want that stuff. I think this is the first time in any Neptuna game that I've actually switched the languages. Not counting the start of Rebirth 1, because for some reason Rebirth 1 defaults to Japanese. Yeah, 3.5k HP. That is good. And then if he has 4,000, because she's just that good. Alright. Anyways, um, War Against Creation, that's a quest. And Tough Love. Five PB chan, iru? Aya san, mezurashi, boku ni ai ni? Jotto ne. Ne, kore kara o matsuri ikanai? O matsuri. Did you, did, you, did you just say IF san? え、あ、あゆさんは行きたいの。もちろん気にしなくても大丈夫よ。私も一緒だし。少しだけでいいからね。うん、わかった。でも、はぐれたりしたら嫌だよ。Damn, if he pulled another chick. That's crazy. First, <laughs> so now she has three. If he has a harem now, she's amazing, isn't she? <laughs> <笑>とりあえず目をつむって私の手を握って。こう。ちょ、あ、あゆさん、どこ行くの私が言いって言うまで目を開けちゃダメよ。本当にそれで僕の瞳尻が治るの<笑> Hey, look, we're in last station. Oh, 94 time. Or, yeah, we're at 94 now, huh? <laughs> she's she's panicking. Six more. Six more what? Six more wifeies? <laughs> Six more ladies for her harem? Okay. <laughs> 
ちょっとあらりょうじだったかもだけどね。One for each cell phone, I guess. ちょっとどころじゃないよ。一人で行っちゃうなんてひどい。でも、これで大抵のことには動じなくなったんじゃないオフだし、私も一緒だったし、ずいぶん着物いてたんじゃないかしら。なんかちょっと違う気がする。I think、uh, that's a typo. <laughs> They used the wrong your. <laughs> no la dele dele. I don't, I don't know if you are mentoring is going in the right direction. はい。5PB ちゃんが着く頃を見計らって、ルームサービスを頼んでおいたの。ね<笑>ルームサービス。<笑>文句でも何でも聞いてあげるから、まずは食事でも取りながら一息。で、あれ、oh, times. ベッドの影なんかに隠れたりして、何かを探し。<笑>ごめんつい条件反射で<笑>これは当分治りそうにないわね I love this I love this R we're just hanging out with 5BB try to get her to not be socially awkward great hey is there anything else we can do here um Lean box, CPU. Oh, yeah, and then we gotta go to the Wii eventually as well. Anything in land? Will you buy it? As the two girls start to get along, the problem arises involving 5PB sales. Oh, more 5PB scenes. Oh, no, that's terrible. ここ数日ずっとそう何が原因でこうなったのか僕にも分かんなくてだからもしかしたら僕の曲が世間から How many scenes she has for you get her? I think like 10 roughly 10 scenes 10 or 12 thereabouts we've done like half of them so far I think アイちゃんはどう思うことはないと思うけど、最近書いた曲ばかりってわけでもないんでしょ。それは、うん、じゃあ曲が悪いなんてことはないんじゃない。元気出して。でも急にお客さんの反応が変わったっていうのは気になるわね。次のライブ私も行くから待ち合わせしましょう。Hey, that's a great idea. <laughs> OMG. Hey, Mata Okizari ni Suruno? See, nice, see, nice. Dan ni Okakusan no han no mini k u d a k e o Oh, <laughs> this music's not fitting. Go Kyokumo Tatano ni Daremo Yoritska nai nante. たまに視線をくれるのだってまだいい方これがいわゆるスランプなのかな違うと思うわだって曲のよしあしっていうより避けられてる感じだもの What the hell happened with 5PB? こんなことは僕初めてでどうしていいのか Hmm. Oi, oi, Nani Oitirkatomeva. Ongakdisk each mine, Kunanedan, Harai Rukayo. Nandeste 
It's the standard MSRP. So, any Nani or five PV chan of Kukuniwa, Nedaniwa Kaira and I catch a garno. Get son Namono a Kibendaro. Scustemo Kyoko Takakurite. Son Nestango Kurga, me, me, it does it. So they're not paying attention to five PV because she's charging too much. Daibu Kikeba Wakarua. さきだけで勝手なこと言わないで。愛ちゃん、もういいよ。聞いたぞ。だが生で聞くのとヘッドホンで聞くのとじゃ全然違うだろう。ライブがいいからってそれがそのままディスクの価値だとは言えねえんじ
But I haven't figured out what else I want to do today. So I might just play more of this game if I'm bored. I'll see, though. I'll see how I feel. So, uh, see you guys then. Take care.